press that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, welcome to the Rock and Roll Rowdies. I'm here with Mark Craggs. My name's Mark Emery. And we are going to uh, react to a, a, a Greek band, the villagers of Ionanina, I believe. Uh, Ionian, so I'm not, Ionia. Not quite sure how to pronounce it. So. But they're a top rock band in Greece. And we're going to be going to Greece in. Uh, in a not too distant future to do some um, workshops and stuff and we want to reach out to the people there and let them know where we are so um, we're going to have a listen to this and react to it and uh, see what it's like see what these Greeks can rock ah hang on a second don't forget to put that on <laughs> <laughs> here just we go time, again just, just in a... time Lock, lock, lock. Who's that knocking at my door? I don't know, but this and the real true story in the real dream. Right. Yeah, it's well, obviously the, a concept. These guys seem like a bit of a uh, psychedelic prog band, which we grew up with psychedelic prog band, so, uh, you know. Yeah. And I, I've done many gigs like this in Europe and in Greece, in Hertz uh, Bosnia, these sort of big hangar type hangar places. Hangar type yeah. places, yeah. yeah. It seems to be the. Well, this is. I'm not sure which way we're facing here. Yeah, whether we're facing the stage or whether I think where, where they are. I was looking at the audience on, a, on, the, on the back. Yeah. A lot of them have that. They have a, a, a sort yeah. of a, an area at the yeah, back. Yeah, it reminds me. I don't know. I'm sure it's in Italy where it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's at the where the area. entrance is. Yeah, they hang out up there. And then you yeah, go down the back the to the bleachers. Yeah, the, yeah. The other side is all the, the hangout bit. Yeah. I mean, looking at this title and this intro, it's a bit, for me, you know, that Genesis, Pink Floyd, prog rock. Well, their influence is there, you know. It's pyramid shape straight away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. No, no. It's a bit like a Jaws up, Jaws up, you know that. I'm so confused which end the stage is at here. That's not the stage. That's not the stage, but the audience are facing us. So where are they? Well, they do things differently in Greek, you know. <laughs> Let's take a look at these guys. Sick of seeing the back of an auditorium. Here we go. Stop, stop. 
Well, singing in English, of course. Singing in English, yeah. And probably, you know, for me, his voice is probably better if he was singing in Greek. You know? Might make it sound better. I suppose I'm trying to blend it with it. Yeah. Western. <coughs> yeah. Good visuals. Yeah. It's the old triangles, the pyramids. So we're looking at a big, obviously, sort of Floyd prog rock influence here. Yeah. But they're blending it with, I think there's a, a certain amount of Greek folk. Yeah, there's these guys on the on the left of the screen there, and they've got some weird instruments. I don't know where it is he's playing, whether it's like a a wind instrument. Oh, is it the bagpipe thing? Yeah. Right. Okay, well, let's, let's go. Let's, I mean, yeah. it's, it is Interesting, good. interesting. God knows what it's called. A pole. A <laughs> stick. <laughs> in the world <laughs> but the overall wow that's uh, big that's big big sound and I love it because you've got that, that drone drone on, yeah. yeah again that theme of the, the drone Such a loud drummer, every you know, he's got a light touch. Looks like he's got a light, no effort to it. <laughs> a bit like Nick Mason, you know, he doesn't thrash around, uh, he just plays. I 
I think the tweet is vocal and it's starting to sound much clearer. It's like a big orbo or something. This one. Yeah. Did you do or something? Goes, yeah. Uh, I've never heard of these guys before, and it's, it looks like they're yeah, a big. Interesting, interesting. Very. Yeah, good sound, good, you know. <coughs> if you walked in on that, you'd be, woo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. I mean, as you said, but I've never heard of them. You've never heard of them in, in, the, in the West here. We're in yeah. England. Um, I don't know why more, you know, festival promoters don't yeah. bring over acts like that, that at the top in their country, obviously, these guys have got a lot of followers. Yeah. You know, it's obviously very popular in Greece and, and probably at the surrounding areas. I saw um, comments from Serbia and, you know, quite a wide area in, yeah. into uh, South southeastern European area. Uh, but, yeah, it'd be nice to hear them in, in, in the UK. I mean, we get a lot of bands going out there, so why not? Yeah, why don't we cultural have cultural exchange? Yeah. That's where it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, obviously, there's the Pink Floyd influence um, yeah. right away. You can see that in the stage production and everything. Yeah. But they're also introducing the, the folk side of the it. The folk side, uh, yeah, which is like what we we done earlier with the Page and Plant, where they're using that in the Egyptian orchestra. the Egyptian orchestra. 
Yeah. And they're look, using their... What? Yeah, some local instruments. Local there. instruments, yeah. A sort of that variation unique, of the bagpipe unique, there. Yeah, and variation of... And some woodwind things that are, you know... <laughs> look like a big stick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know quite <laughs> Maybe how Maybe it was uh, the Australian thing, you know. Yeah, didgeridoo. A bit didgeridoo, like you yeah. But, uh, no, great. And um, good luck, guys. Good I mean, luck. Uh, yeah, well, keep yeah, I'll keep my eyes and ears open. I'll see you in Greece sometime. Yeah. <laughs>